Welcome back to Sunday League Football. What a week it was on this channel. Two trophies for the first team, one for the reserves. That's an unofficial treble. Now, this particular match I'm bringing you today is almost from a month ago. The reason it wasn't uploaded earlier because we had a cup run and I wanted to make sure if we did get to the final was to bring that to you next day. So following this game, we had a Ted Fairchild Cup quarterfinal. We won that. Into the semis. We won that. Into the final. We won that. And it would have gone up after that, but then we had an Essex Premier Cup final. And don't forget about the reserves cup final as well. So apologies this one got delayed, but I'm hoping with the trophies that we lifted, that makes up for it. That's five videos in a row that have been brought to you next day. Now, as Andrew films and cows, let me tell you, today's action is league action. Now, it's against this lot here, a team that we tend to struggle against recently. It's Stifford United, back-to-back, -back, double winning champions. And from April to April 2018 to 2019, we've only lost one game, and it is to this lot. Here is what the current league table looks like. It's full place with three to four games in hand over those around us. And a win today will definitely make it hard for our opponents sitting in second to retain a league trophy for a third year running. For us, it's literally one game at a time. See how we get on, move on to the next. Let's find out your starting lineup for today. In between that white thing that Andrew likes to call it. We've got a Jack and it's a back three of Webby. New signing Nick and Shane. Into the midfield we've got Tommy, German and Josh. Two wingers in Henners and Lewis. And then two up top and all in Nick and Bill. So that's the 11 but we also have two on the bench as well in the form of Charlie and Nolsey. And as you can see we're pretty much ready to go. Before we get going though don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell to be notified when a new video is released. And that's all i got to tell you. Should we crack one the game? I think we should. <laughs> So it's Stifford that are looking lively straight away as they look to get a chance in at early doors. With the number 11 who loves getting a goal against us, doesn't he? Not too sure if that's a shot or a cross for the number 7 there. But either way, Jack's intercepted and we can get in our way. Or can we? Because there doesn't seem to be a lot going forward. Henners can't get the ball to Germany. He's made a run. Gives it to Tommy instead. He then lays it off to Shane. Who gives it that to Tommy? This pass here, a very rare error from Tommy there as it goes into the 11. 10 picks it up. New signing Nick commits. Plays it into the 11. He misses the strike the first time. Goes for it again. Boys, come on! Come on, wake up, Palmers! Thank you, starters. That shot came off new signing Nick. This corner comes in here. New signing Nick once again away. His brother's over that far side now. Dinking the ball forward towards Nick. Number three gets there first. Heads it into the path of Lewis. He does well to get that into the box. Bill's there. He's going to look to get it down here. Does that. Sets it back to Henners, who prefer to get it on his left. Doesn't get it on his left. The loose ball picked up by Josh, who sets it for German. <laughs> Oh. Back up the other end, we've got Shane doing well to hold up the number 7. He's forced to go back home to the number... What number is it? 14. He dinks up to the 11. He's allowed to bring that down in the box. It's not great defending from us. Needs to be on it a little bit more. It falls back out to the 8 here. He shoots from distance, but that goes the wrong side of the post. Or in our case, the right side of the post. Balls in the air here with 7, and Henners goes for it. Slight nudge there, but not enough to give a free kick. 7 gets it down, plays it up to the 11. There's nobody following him either. That's going to allow him to keep it in, but also put the cross in. Here he comes. 7's continued his run. Gets his head on it. Jack with a save. Henners is there to get that clear. The game died off for a bit as Lewis picks the ball up from a nick throw. A catches him. It's going to be a free kick. And here comes that free kick. Lewis to deliver. Into the box it goes. It bounces once towards the back post. Henners puts it back in. Couple struggling with the sun in their eyes there as it bounces once. It's cleared. Oh. oh. If he was ever going to score a goal that was described as against the run of play, this was definitely it. Obviously, in the lead-up to this video, Nick scored a couple of goals. Last time around being in the Ted Fair Child Cup final, I said he was on 93. It was actually his 94th. Obviously, I didn't want to spoil the fact that he scored in this one. Whether he meant it or not, it doesn't matter. He's six away from 100. It's currently Palmer's FC1. It's if United nil. Wake up, my boys! Get up, kids. Here's how to not take a throw. Switch on, then. Here's how not to take a throw following a foul throw. Just think about what we're doing, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> As we approach the 30th in this one, there's really not been that much to show you. Both teams can't see each other out, so uh, there's a bus. There's a tackle. Oh, 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 oh. And here's a delivery, once again by Lewis. Into the box it goes. New signing Nick on the end of it, but it bounces off him there. And rolls into the path of the keeper, unlucky. He's Henners on this near side. Not allowed too much time as the seven comes sliding in there. Wins it back, but he's got a number of players around him. Henners then gets it back for us. Puts it into Bill, who shoots. <laughs> Almost at half time now as the ball's played for by the 14 into the six who gets it out of his feet there. He's still got the better of Shane here, but he's having none of it. So we've got a corner to defend here. It's not the best though as Tommy's able to clear that at the near post. Out to Lewis on the edge who lays it off for German. Eight gets there first though. Now he's going to look to put it into the box. A little bit premature from the ref there, I thought. Especially on an attack as well, but we come in half time, 1 0 up. Not that we deserve it, but we'll take it. So, of course, it's that time of the season where you might be winding things down a bit, but at the same time, organising for next season. If you need yourself a kit, look no further than our sponsors, of course, kitlocker.com. If you want to grab any of our merch, oh, why not? It's palmsfc.co.uk. Now, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Andrew's missed kickoff. We're very unorganised. We haven't got a lino in place either. I can't even run. That's Tom out of question. Me too, and all. Let's work out who's going to do the line. It's number 10 that flicks it over, new sign in Nick's head. 11's there. Oh, oh. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
And that's not how you want to start a second half 20 seconds in. So following that, there were a couple of calls saying 11 was offside, which means Alino would have come in handy. I mean, I don't think he was. Of course, we'll never know. But even if he was, we still got to be dealing with these things before it even gets to this point. In this case, we didn't. 11, as I say, likes to score against us. Loops it over Jack. And that levels it up. Palmer's FC won. Stiffed United won. Q synchronized turn from everyone. Wonderful. All right, let's try again. Kick off. Which is swiftly followed by another bus on a Sunday. So let's say a bit of an unorganized start to the second half. I noticed Charlie's on the field now, so he would have come on for someone. Looks like Knowles is out there as well, so it's a double change. Can't see Tommy, can't see Lewis, so that must be it. Continue here with the ball in the air as Bill flicks it on to Nick. As he gets it under control, it comes off of the 15 there. It's a race between Nick and the three. Oh, come on, Lewis. Uh, Nick for f Side. Rest not having any of it. That's £10 by 6FA. We continue with the number 10 here with a back heel down the line to the number 7 as he looks to go beyond Henners. Does that. Not Brad though. The ball becomes loose and it's an awkward bounce for Josh as number 11 gets in there. He then gets beyond new signing Nick but Josh recovers well. Good tackle there. That's going to roll out for a corner. So it's the 8 that sends this one into the box. Jack's off his line. Punches away. He's caught as well. 7 then nods it back into the danger zone. 11 gets involved as well. Jack with a punch. He's back to the 11. He tries to get the shot in but there's Jack with the save eventually. Nervy times. More pressure from our opponents now. Throwing from the 22 down the line to the 11 who nods it on the inside of new side in Nick. Six picks it up but Shane's there to make sure he doesn't go any further. Looks to be rolling out but Six keeps it in. Looks to go beyond Shane again. No luck but he's won his team a corner. So here we go again. Delivered into the box. Free head for the number three. Oh, oh what a save Jack. Similar to the first half, we're really not carving out many opportunities. This is honestly the best chance we've had so far. It came from Nolsey, who won the ball on the edge of the box. It fell to Henners, but he scuffed his shot. That rolls through to the keeper. Here comes Stifford again, number six on that far side there. Shane doing well against him today, but he can't do anything about this ball into the box. It's up to the 11, who gets away from new signing Nick. Nolsey's is on the case, though. It looks to have got the better of him as well. As the strike comes in, Jack makes the save, and that rolls across the goal. Out for a, well, it would be a corner. And here is that corner. On to Jack. Looks to be trying to punch a lot of things today. Headed towards goal. But luckily for us, it was straight at Jack. It didn't punch it. it 74 on the clock now. We're steaming through this video just because of the lack of chances. But here could be another one for Stifford. There's Nolsey acting as the sweeper there to get this away. But as I say that, welcome back to Sunday League Football. <laughs> Same as Nick. That's £10 to a 6FA. Honestly, feel like we've had more buses than good chances today. As you can see on the clock, time is really ticking. So if one of us is going to get a win, it needs to be happening soon. I'm honest though, stiff with more than likely at the moment. But as Bill looks to get away, he's held back there. Nothing given by the ref. And now they can get on their way. It's a ball out to this near side for the 22. Good touchdown from him as he looks to go beyond Henners. He does that. Puts a lovely ball into the box for the 7. He strikes it. That's wide of the goal. Five minutes past stoppage time left as Bill picks the ball up. Looks to his left. He's got Josh. On the overlap, he's Nolsey, his brother. Looks like he's going to team up as well. He's Nolsey, he's left. Oh, oh, you bet you fucking oh, boys, keep going. Much it is much better, but we need to press on. It's the 91st minute now as Nolsey puts a ball over the top here. It's number three. Not dealt with it, but it falls to Lewis. Yes. Oh. Oh. If that goes in, that's three points. Whether it was deserved or not, it is three points. Well, not the ideal situation, but we have stopped our opponents getting three points today, which is a good thing. Especially the way we played as well. It wasn't great, was it? What it does mean is we're up to third. Three games in hand over Stifford. Two points behind. The max they can get, provided they win all their games, is 29 points. As for us, it's 36. We've still got to play Stifford again in the league and Legends and Ockenham Manor. In fact, everyone's got to play everyone again. So there's a few twists and turns to come. So we'll see how it pans out between now and the end of May. But until then, don't forget to drop a like on this video. I appreciate it wasn't the best. We're not even hitting 10 minutes. And I'm not going to waste your time either. Just one of those games that wasn't a classic and didn't produce much, I'm afraid. Next week, we face up to bottom of the table, Wok and Duna. And we dished out a bit of stick to the reserves last year, so we'll be looking to give it back in the form of a win. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel recently. And we'll catch you in the next one.